As promised, I am going to read an excerpt from my book, the fourth book called A Kept Secret. A Kept Secret by Sasha Maxwell, which is really me, aka Sherry D. Bailey. I'm going to be reading the first uh, chapter, which is entitled, you can't see it, but it's Exclamations of Revelations. And here goes without my glasses. Little did I know that being separated kept me fiending for a man. I fiend for a man that didn't want me. I know that sounds ludicrous, but it was true. It was a duality of my reality. I didn't fiend for my soon-to-be ex-husband. No, sir, that would have been a humongous mistake. I didn't want his abusive and domineering personality. I was done with that. No, what I wanted was to be loved. So I say I fiend for a man that didn't want me because he didn't know what he wanted. Nor did I. Until we met. In my mind, you see, I romanticize about the idea of being in a loving relationship with a compassionate man. <clears throat> and of course, I wanted that to come to fruition. But at the time, I was stuck in my dreadful reality. Nonetheless, I kept the secret notion of love. I knew someday it would find me. It was a heartwarming daydream that I enjoyed reliving. I visualized the long strolls that we would take in the park while holding each other's hands. I daydreamed about how we would be engulfed in one another's aroma, hoping that the scent would last for a long, would linger for a lifetime. And I dreamt about the caressing touch of his strong arms wrapped around my curvaceous body <laughs> that would send him into a tailspin of existentialism. <laughs> Seriously, though, I just wanted the sacredness of love. You see, the more vivid my daydream grew, the more I dreamt of the gentle stroke of his soft skin touching mine and how I think for those feelings to be reciprocated. Oh, what a sensation. <laughs> I envision being embraced and tantalized by love. <laughs> I had an uncanny fixation of experiencing that reality, but it was an elusive dream. I tell you, the truth was it was just a fantasy. I was stuck in my dreadful reality of being alone. And it was a dream deferred. So that is the first paragraph of first two paragraphs of the first chapter of the book that I've written entitled A Kept Secret. Pick it up today. SherryDBailey.com or SBailey.com. You can also go to Author House, the publisher of the book and type in the title remember it is the aftermath of a kept woman so you need to buy the kept woman book first a kept woman and then you'll see the continuation of that book in this book entitled a kept secret and boy is it delicious smooches